Alrighty. Um, seems kind of like fitting. Um, but. So. I'm going to do this as like a series as a whole. Not um, in, in individually. So. The Wicked Years. So. Um, I'm in the process of rereading them. But. I have. Um, like this mass um, market paperback of like of these um, where it's sprayed sprayed edged three out of the four are like this it's the fourth one that they didn't do this for I'm not too sure why um, but um, but yeah so you got like this version of it, but they, for like the, um, I think not just because of like the film that's coming out, but it being out for so long now, um, they've redone, done it. So like, um, so, like, volume one. Um, this is the second one, Son of a Witch. Um, a Lion Among Men. And Out of Oz. Now, for some reason, I don't know why this seems more thicker than when I first read it. But... And so you got like the story so far. Um, so like charting the wicked years and like um, the map of Oz. And like you got a few different, like in this one you got like a few different um, like charts in here of like outlands. Um, So, uh, each one does co um, cover, like, has a certain character as kind of like their main focus. Obviously, Wicked is um, more focused on Elphaba. Um, so, like, it starts off with her parents and her, um, her mom giving birth to her. And then, um, that kind of is the first part of it. And then, obviously, kind of like jumping forward her to her... Um, like, so, like, the first few years of her life and then jumps to, um, going to university and kind of, like, being there for more for her sister and her meeting Glinda and everything. So, um, that one, some of which more focuses on her son, Lear. So, like, this one kind of ends off with her and a young boy kind of going off to, um, Oh crap, I can't, freak, uh, can't remember the castle now, but, um, so, um, so it's just like a journey of, um, him like kind of like discovered by like the sisters um of the monastery that like Alphaba went to for a little bit um kind of like Bruce and left 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 for dead because like it was part of like the military or whatever um so it's kind of like his journey of like getting stuff back um and it's a journey with a uh, character named Campbell. Um, Lion Mog's Men is more of um, the Cowardly Lion and um, a civ civil war looming over like Oz. Um, 
and like um So seen, seen through the eyes of the cowardly lion, remembered from Wicked as the tiny cub, Alphaba um, defended. So, um, like, what does he know about Lear and, like, um, kind of, like, questioning him on stuff. So, and then out out of Oz is kind of like Dorothy coming back, um, and it does bring in um, her like Alphaba's granddaughter Rain. Oh, Lear's still in here. Um, yeah. So um, Rain. Lear's daughter, um, so it's just like the war has like really kind of um, taken shape and it's like for Dorothy not really much time has passed but in Oz like years, decades have passed and it's just really gone sour from the last time that she was there and again I have to re like reread this one and like they're out for her as well and going to her on trial um, so yeah and like what I kind of like about what they did with, with this if you like line it up right you got like a landscape situation going on, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, like again, if you're getting all four at once, you like, especially if you're in Canada, you're chucking out like a hundred dollars, like $25 um, a book <laughs> for like um, US like 20 bucks a buck so you're saving like $20 <laughs> but um, again this is gonna be kind of like a reread for me over like the fall into the winter because I, I do want to finish up and reread the um, read these I've been wanting to for a while now and then um, but yeah like mild fantasy kind of thing um so yeah the wicked ears um it's by gregory mcguire happy readings